Denise, put, I'm going to turn you down, Denise. Go ahead. Hand your love. Wave your hand. Wave your hand if you need me. Okay. All right. This executive Brookhaven Borough Council executive session will come to order. The date is March 19th, 2020. The purpose of the meeting is to extend the resolution or extend the resolution that extends the declaration of emergency disaster that was proclaimed by Mayor Michael Hess last Friday, 313. Whereas a novel coronavirus known as COV-19 emerged in Wuhan, China, began infecting humans and has since spread to more than 100 countries throughout the world, including the United States and more specifically residents of Delaware County, and whereas the World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention have declared COVID-19 a public health emergency of international concern. And the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Secretary has declared COVID-19 creates a public health emergency. And whereas on February 1, 2020, the Commonwealth's Department of Health activated its Department Operations Center at the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency's headquarters to conduct health and medical coordination for COVID-19 throughout the Commonwealth, and whereas on March 4th, 2020, the director of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency ordered the act activation of its Commonwealth Response Coordination Center in support of the Department of Health's Operations Center to maintain situational awareness and coordinate the response to any potential, potential COVID-19 impacts across the Commonwealth. And whereas on March 11th, 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a pandemic and is deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity, and whereas while it is anticipated that a high percentage of those affected by COVID-19 will experience mild influenza-like symptoms, COVID-19 is a disease capable of causing severe symptoms or loss of life, particularly to older populations and those individuals with pre-existing pre conditions. And whereas it is critical to prepare for and respond to suspected or, or confirmed cases in the borough of Brookhaven, and to implement, implement measures to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. And whereas the possible increased threat from COVID-19 constitutes a threat of imminent disaster to the health, health of the citizens of Brookhaven Borough, whereas this threat of imminent, imminent disaster and emergency has the potential to cause significant adverse impacts upon the population throughout Brookhaven Borough. And whereas this threat of imminent disaster and emergency has already caused schools, preschools, daycare centers, YMCAs, and other places of entertainment to close, whereas the COVID-19 virus threatens to cause injury, damage, suffering to the citizens of Brookhaven Borough, whereas the COVID-19 virus has the potential to endanger the health, safety, and welfare of, his, of a substantial number of persons residing in the borough, and threatens to create challenges greater in scope than Brookhaven Borough, may be able to resolve through traditional me measures. And whereas emer emergency management measures are required to reduce the severity of this disaster and to protect the health, safety, and welfare of affected residents and the community at large in the borough. And whereas on March 13th, 2020, the Honorable Michael Hess, Mayor of, Brookhaven, of the Borough of Brookhaven, issued a declaration of emergency disaster pursuant to the authority vested by 35 P PA CSA 7501B and PA Borough Code 1006A Section B. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Borough, borough Council of the Borough of Brookhaven, declare, join, and hereby extend the de declaration of emergency disaster issued by Mayor Michael Hess pursuant to the provisions of, second, of Section 7501B of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Service, Services Code, 35 PA CSA 7501 Section B, and PA Borough Code 1006A Section B. Further, borough, borough departments may, in conduction with the borough emergency coordinator, suspend such regulatory requirements deemed necessary to respond to this disaster emergency and to conduct borough business. Further, the, bur the Brookhaven Borough Emergency Management Coordinator is directed to coordinate the activities of the emergency response in coordination with Delaware County emergency management officials and to take any other emergency response action deemed necessary to respond to this public health local disaster emergency as permitted by law resolved this 19th day of March 2020. So we will now vote on it. So moved. All in favor of adopting the resolution? Aye. Aye. We have a motion by Mrs. Sawicki. 
We have a second? I'll second it. Donna Fuchs seconds. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any questions? No. None opposed. I forgot to mention that we have in attendance Mayor Mike Kess, Councilwoman Sherry Heller, Councilman Hector Vasquez, Councilwoman Donna Fuchs, Councilwoman Janice Sawicki, and Borough Solicitor Jay Wills. And Denise Leslie, I'm sorry, Denise, Denise is, has joined us via FaceTime. One more item or a couple more items. Uh, Can I interrupt you for a moment? Step into a mic, please. We're not going to be able to hear you. Turn on the uh, podium mic, if you will. Mr. President, I just need you to sign that declaration, and we have to have it attested by somebody tomorrow. Okay. So Mary's not going to be here, so we'll let, if Delilah's going to be here, she can attest it, put the borough seal on it. I need to have a copy sent to me so I can send it to Steve Schultz. Okay. Hold on to that mic, Keisha, if you have anything else to say. Just don't go near anyone. We have two more items. Uh, in compliance with Governor Wolf's order, which I believe takes place, takes effect, I should say, at 8 p.m. tonight, we are shutting down the local government and we are shutting down public works um, for a span of two weeks. All employees with public works and the borough will be paid, and this will be reevaluated on an almost daily basis, and a further decision will be made in, in 10 to 12 days regarding whether or not we will extend the, uh, the closures. Two important issues. Speaking to the mic right here, sir. That we want to clarify for all our residents. Number one, there will be law enforcement on the streets here in Brookhaven, despite the fact that from an administrative standpoint, the borough government is being, quote, suspended. Law enforcement activities, the police will continue to be there. If there's an issue, please call 911. Secondly, from a public health perspective, again, the trash and the garbage will continue to be collected on your regular collection day. They are the two basic important municipal functions that will continue throughout the state of the emergency. Thank you, Mr. Wills. Mr. President, can I ask you another question? Certainly. The entire building will be closed. I'm assuming that anyone who wants to pay their taxes cannot pay their taxes. Anyone wishing to pay their taxes will have to do so by, via U.S. mail. By mail, okay. From, from here on out. Um, and we have another thing. Uh, I believe we do have to vote on extending the, the first grace period for the borough taxes by 30 days. Take a mic, sir. The other issue, uh, uh, last evening the Delaware County Council uh, basically extended the discount period, which is a 2% discount if county taxes are paid on or before March the 31st. Delaware County Council last evening by unanimous consent voted to extend that for an additional 30 days until April the 30th of 2020. So long as you pay your county taxes by that date, you will obtain a 2% discount. That only applies to county taxes. Subsequent thereto, I have been advised by a number of solicitors that a number of municipalities have voted to extend the date for the discount period for your municipal tax bill for an additional 30 days. And therefore, it, if, if it is the pleasure of Borough Council to extend the uh, uh, a discount uh, uh, date for an additional 30 days up until April the 30th of 2020 to pay your Brookhaven Borough Municipal taxes, then a vote would be in order by Borough Council. All right, let's vote. Do I have a motion for that? And, and the motion would be to extend the grace period to April 30th, 2020. That's correct. To, to uh, achieve the, um, the discount period. So moved. Janice Sawicki, in case we couldn't hear, took the motion. Mrs. Fuchs, seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, it's unanimous, so that carries. And, and then I'm assuming somebody will advise our tax collector, uh, Mr. Smith, of the action, affirmative action that was taken here this evening. I sent him an email today, and I will, I will follow up with a call tonight. If I can't get a hold of him, I'll, I'll call uh, the deputy tax collector, Kristen Kugelman. 
I believe that's all I have for now. I believe the third issue, uh, uh, Mr. President, is there is uh, a workshop meeting that is presently scheduled for next Monday, March the 23rd. If it is the pleasure of Borough Council to cancel that meeting, then a motion would be in order. Okay. And we have decided to cancel that. We are legally required, um, and the rule has not changed. It hasn't come down from the state. So uh, we already had uh, one meeting this month, which was March's council meeting. So um, the motion should be uh, to cancel the March 2020 council workshop meeting. March 23rd, I believe it is, right? Yes, it is. The March 23rd, 2020. Is there a motion to Motion. Mrs. Fuchs, motion. Mrs. Heller, seconds. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? All right, that carries. We do have a um, April's, is April's council meeting April what? 7th. April 6th, April 6th. We are, we should, at this point, we are planning on holding that council meeting, be it uh, by FaceTime or other telecommunication or in person, uh, we will get back to the public on that. But for now, we will hold it in some form, some format, I should say. I, I think that is prudent, Mr. President. I think uh, that would be the next time we would convene would be Monday, April uh, the 6th. Whether that is uh, uh, present here in, in this particular room, or like I said, through electronic means, uh, we'll certainly meet uh, and like I said, conduct the very rudimentary business of the borough. I think that's all I have. Anyone else? Uh, let me just add another comment. I'm sure we're going to have, once this word gets out to the public, I'm sure we're going to have numerous phone calls coming into the borough. Sure. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have somebody here periodically come in to take those messages and return phone calls, or should we put something on Facebook? We can do that. And I, politics? We, we can do that, and I would recommend um, posting the borough email addresses of all the council persons on, um, on Facebook along with this post, we, we can do that. The, correct, they are on the website anyway, and, and they go. So I think, I think Facebook gets more visibility than our webpage. Mrs. Fix is probably better be able to answer that, but I believe that the, the Facebook page, 19015 and the official borough Facebook page reaches more individuals. Is our sewer plan operator gonna be working? He's under contract. The question in the back, there's no mic in the back, uh, Mr. Vasquez asks if our sewer plant, that that would be essential to, lo yes. to life, correct? Yes, so he they, would be working. They are contractually obligated. We have uh, Miller Environmental that uh, operates our sewer plant. So yes, they are contractually obligated. From obviously a public health and hygiene perspective, obviously we need the sewage to continue to flow. So yes, that sir. is clearly a life-sustaining operation. And yes, we fully expect that the uh, sewer uh, maintenance uh, uh, workers will in fact continue to report to duty. So yes, the toilets should continue to, to flow. Public safety perspective, the police will continue to patrol our streets. And again, the trash will be picked up when it's regularly normal day and time. Good pick up there, Hector, I forgot about that. I don't have anything else. Mayor? Terry, Terry. Ms. Leslie. We will, the, the question is in case uh, the microphone didn't pick up the uh, Mrs. Leslie, Ms. Leslie uh, FaceTime is our uh, Chief Montella and Joe Bynum working. I believe the answer is yes. We will get a definitive answer on that, however. Okay. Second question I have. If there is some sort of emergency, Public Works will come in and handle it, correct? Correct. If there's a sewer emergency, we can ha have someone from Public Works on call or, or other. Okay, just checking. Or, That's or, all I have. or other life or health threatening emergency. Yeah. Anyone else? All right, folks, bear with us. We'll get through this. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 
can kill the camera, Mr. Vasquez. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Denise.